What's up, PokeTubers and viewers? Today we're back with another You Got Pokemail. This is probably like two weeks worth of stuff here. We haven't made slacking. a video in a while. We've been slacking, so every day just builds up a little more. So we're gonna do a PSA cards, our sealed stuff. Wait, our air conditioner isn't off. Yeah, it is. That's a, that's a lawnmower outside. That's oh, a, that's the fan. Oh, okay. I thought you okay. thought it was a mower. No, I that. like. Okay. Yeah, I heard because sometimes the AC sounds like that oh. noise. Yeah, the fan's just making a little. Okay, make sure stuff. you cut this out. No, everyone needs to know. <laughs> I thought it was on and was it? So, PokeTubers viewers, again, here we are. We're gonna start with the sealed stuff. Not very much, but we got a few pieces here to show you. We have your hair just sticking out the side of your hat. Quality control. We weren't ready to get nowhere. <laughs> Didn't get through makeup this morning. Oh my god. Okay, here we go again. PokeTubers and viewers. <laughs> Here's a Squirtle Bubble Sword deck, sealed VHS. So if you're not familiar with this deck, and maybe Kayla, you are, I can explain it here. This is a deck from like 1998, I believe. Um, it comes with a VHS tape and two promo starter decks, a Squirtle and Bubble Sword deck. I thought these were undervalued right now based on what the cards are going for. If you guys have been keeping up with the mail and the PSA cards, you'd see a lot of these cards from this set I'm sending in to get graded. So I'm thinking we might crack one of these to get the- I mean, what's the, having it sealed, like no one owns a VHS player. So like no one wants the VHS. No, yeah, definitely no one's here for the VHS, <laughs> but the, there's two decks in here Okay. in this side and the Squirtle and Bubble Sword deck. And there's a Venusaur and Blastoids that right now in a 10 sell for a couple hundred dollars but this was only like $150. So I thought this was undervalued at mm -hmm. this point. And there's a lot of so, nice minty cards mm -hmm. here. Yeah. And there's a Pikachu in the deck. There's a Arcanine and Growlithe. Some really nice cards in this deck. You can see here is a little more sample of what's in there. But I think I got three of these total. I only got one in so far. So it's the first sealed piece. Next we have the two jungle theme decks. Most of you are pretty familiar with these. Hollow Vaporeon, Hollow Kangaskhan, and those um, from the jungle set to add to the theme deck collection. Both in really good shape. So, don't spend a lot of time on those. We also got five of the new Charizard VMAX decks from Infinity Zone, which is the Japanese version of Darkness of Blaze, which comes out in English in August. Got five of those. I think they were 20 apiece, free shipping, pretty good deal. Possibly may just pull a couple of the Charizards out to get graded, but I think this is a really nice collector's piece. This like black with all these different colors. I forget what kind of art style that really is, but it's pretty, it's like a neat light bright type thing. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So in the English set, English set coming out October August 14th these cards are in the set where in Japanese they're in this promo deck so there'll be a lot probably harder to get well, this is English. another VHS no it's not <laughs> that's new <laughs> if we open that we're watching that VHS like, how though like we literally we'll don't VHS have a VHS player, VHS player. Is that even, where are you looking are they even looking at me okay You'll never know. <laughs> I will when I go to that. PSA card. So we've got uh, another Cosmic Eclipse 10. I've been trying to get all the cool full arts from that set. This is the coughing. Really amazing artwork My here. favorite color. Purple. Psychic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a psychic type. We were watching the anime the other night. Kayla said, what the heck is coughing? And then he starts <laughs> shooting out sludge and toxins. They said he's just a He ball. blinded Pikachu. Yeah, poor Pikachu. And Pikachu was out for the count. He couldn't even wipe yeah, his eyes. Yeah, was, you know. <laughs> If you rewatch the anime, Ash is so terrible. Like, and this is a Gyarados pre-release from Evolutions. If you're new, stopping by the channel, we've been opening these on live stream. The pre-release kits. We've got a few left. We're gonna open each week. Um, we've opened ten so far. You can check out those videos. We already on got one. We pulled graded. It got a nine. No, I blocked <laughs> it. We didn't get it graded. Just make him think you have like a secret portal to PSA. get your stuff I wish. Quick. I want to work there one day in my retirement job. And then I'll give everybody's cards bad grades. Wow. I if I don't like them, I'll be like, 
didn't watch my channel. Okay, this video is gonna incriminate you. <laughs> They're never incredible. gonna hire they you. Should hire me though. I'm pretty good at this. I'll be friendly. I want everyone to have an abundance of gym mints. So this is a nine. I think this is 85. Thought it was undervalued. These are gonna shoot up. Looking at this condition though, this definitely was graded earlier. I would say out of a pack, I would have called this an eight, but I'll take the nine. So there's only two PSA cards this week. Now we're gonna go into all the singles. So I've got a, a stack right here. We're gonna go through first of ones I haven't gone through for gradeability. Then we'll go through the stack that I'm just gonna sell as singles, not gonna grade it this time. And then we'll go through the ones I already called PSA ready. So we're gonna start with the best one that I got. This Strap one, in, boys. We'll go in for grading. I just opened it a couple minutes for video. This is the Evolutions pre-release Charizard, but the staff version. I happened to come across this and said, I gotta get it. These are gonna fly up. So like these kits that we were opening, they have this card in it, but this staff version was from the pre-release event that they gave to staff who worked the event. So it makes it even a, a harder card to come across. It looks like- So it, it looks different than the one that you pulled? So it just has it that staff uh, gold oh, okay. logoing there, which is uh, a lot of the pre-release and championship stuff. A lot of stuff has staff on it. Um, just that right there. It's all that. All how the do difference. you get to work the event? You just have to work at the wherever they are. I don't okay. really know how exactly that works, but the cut's a little off. But I mean, at least it's going to be an eight, which is real nice. That'll go the bottom in the collection. Looks thicker. Yeah, it's Dumb. thick, dumb thick. So that's that's definitely going to grain. I just didn't want to take that out of the sleeve. And here's the ones we just got in this morning, hot off the press. Try to go through them quickly. We got a lot of these EV evolution EV, uh, promos. That's cute. Yeah, I think those will be a really nice, easy sell. Um, very hard to get this card in 10. Low wow, pop. You have a lot of chances. Yeah. <laughs> but we can get some. Yeah, I bought a lot of them. They're really nice, though. Like any kind of promo like this, you can pick up for a few bucks and flip. Got a lot of gym stuff. I'm always bringing in the gym stuff. So, if last night we were watching anime, here's one of your Misty cards. Mm -hmm. You can see, and there's your Brock card. Some newer stuff. I'm really wanting to get some of these cool Gyarados hollows graded. There's a lot of nice Gyarados that have been coming out in the last few years that I think people will, will pay for. Now this is the Charizard reverse hollow from Evolutions. And in one of our videos last night we pulled a Charizard, but this is the reverse. So you could get this in a pack. There's a red Gyarados, which is one of my favorite Pokemon. So kind of like the original shining almost being red. It's pretty cool hollow. So these are really cheap uh, Pikachu League promos. They're hollow, nice, cool, traditional looking art. Picked up a few of those. Let's go through those and see how those grade out. Um, a lot of gym stuff, lower end gym stuff than Cosmic Eclipse. Gonna be grading some more of these Magnemites. Some uh, more Ivysaur, Bubblesaur. I've never graded these ones right here before from this set, this is uh, 2012. And there's more of the reverses, always picking these up to get graded, they're awesome. Uh, Southern Islands, Merrill, Hollow. Picked up a couple Arcanines from Jim under played condition, which these are, a lot of people would sell these near mint, so these will get graded. Jim Challenge, and there's a Blaine as well. Sold in plain condition, played, that's probably a seven, that one's a little rougher than those. Lieutenant Surge Electrobuzz. There's Coffin, Kayla's favorite. Arbok, which that's what the, the snake Ekans that she has in the mm -hmm. show turns into that. Okay. Yeah, so that's Weezing. Coughing yeah. turns into Weezing. It's like I two was heads. Say it doesn't say coughing, yeah. I didn't want to correct you on camera. It's alright. Favorite. Electrobuzz. A couple of those bad boys. A few vile plumes, vile plumes. This one's pretty cool, the Core Core Bubble Sore. I've never graded one of these. I've ordered a few of them. Very hard to even get them, find them, let alone find them in good condition. This one's probably going to pull. If we're lucky, it'll pull seven, but pretty sweet card for a promo. And then these are some newer Mew X and Y promos I think are going to be pretty easy sell coming up. Real beautiful art. Figured you'd like that one. Mm -hmm. Last night when you pulled all those Mewtwo's, I, I was singing that song, the TikTok song that goes like, 
Mew, 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 is a chopper. That's what I was, <laughs> that's what I was singing every time you pulled one in my head. That's all I kept saying, oh mew, mew, gosh. mew, in the comment. TikTok. So this is the pile that I went through and said at this time, not going to grade it. Either going to sell raw or hold on to when it makes sense. You know, sometimes you take risks with buying near mint and the conditions just aren't so good. So keep going on these. I won't name them all out unless I see something cool, but. You can check out our Mercari page. That's where I sell a lot of my singles when I don't get them graded. Just like doing singles in Mercari, it's a little bit easier than messing with eBay. Sadly, I bought these three and none of them I thought were gradable. So when people make binders, um, like, is it just preference of, like, what condition they put them in, or do you feel like people are more, um, lenient with the condition of the card when they're doing it in a binder? I would say people are more lenient, like, it's definitely cheaper. You can, if you're just looking for the, the, like, the feel of the set, like, if the card in the front is good, usually the back has more wear, so... If you're looking for a binder card, when people say binder card, it may not have the best condition on the back, but if you just put it in the binder and just look at the front, mm -hmm. then you're like, oh yeah, my set looks good. So like, some people do want to collect near mint ungraded, but I'd say a lot of transitioning into people all want graded sets. It's just more expensive, but there are a lot of people who just binder up mint cards and don't do anything with mm -hmm. them. So like, is there a way to make a set with um, graded cards? Like, do they have a system for that? You just put them in the order. Um, but there's no like like binder system or something for guards, cards that are I graded. See. I guess that'd be cool, pretty cool if you somebody out there wants to invent a PSA binder to like that will hold the Silicai cards. Yeah. It Those would be super bulky, but. Oh yeah, it'd be heavy. But it'd, be, it'd need to be like, like a thick album type thing. Just thoughts. All right, go Let ahead. You do it. Uh, maybe somebody already has already done it. Comment if you know. Some tops cards. Always hard to get these conditions right on these. Love bubble sore. Can you tilt it? Thank you. Yep. Some card ass cards. Put a few in the grade pile. These are pretty hit or miss because they're so old. Just love the artworks on these. The PSA people should take into account like how many are in the world and like the condition of most of them. When they so grade. you're saying they should be more friendly with lower pop, like lower yeah. existing cards. Yeah. Or like older cards. Yeah. Like, cause it's probably pretty hard to find them in a good condition. So like they should not be so rude. <laughs> I guess like in their sports cards, they have different graders for different eras of cards and right now I don't eras eras I don't think they have Pokemon broken out like I think their Pokemon people do all the Pokemon I think at some point they'll have people who specialize in like pre 2000 like three stuff or something mm -hmm. just so they're like more familiar because there's like some stuff that you might think are because when you say near mint or mint that's like allows for like flaws from printing or flaws from the pack like minimal minimal damage mm -hmm. or whatever it may be so well like, if it's a printing i don't that just yeah. makes me mad like so, the all those evolutions ones that you picked up that the printing is off like you should not be like faulted for that that so, has nothing to do with you yeah so like you're saying like and they're off cut people complained about for a while before evolutions was they're off cut, like you're not, like they're not centered. I'm pulling pack fresh eights. So hypothetically, if PSA knew, mm -hmm. if eight is like your high end for, yeah. for printing purposes, then that should be a ten hypothetically in that set. Mm -hmm. But that's not how PSA does it. Well, I, mean, I don't know if it's a lack of knowledge or not. But so many people complained about the full art print quali quality before Evolutions that on when they released Evolutions, they really made sure that the full art Charizards were like nine and ten gradable and those hit so hard 
and now they've like improved a lot of the of the like stuff that people want but they still definitely slack on like overall card quality in terms of coming out and saying like you know you can get tens right out of packs mm -hmm. the cut is the biggest thing i mean cut is not the most heavy weight thing in the grading but what i'm saying is like if you have people that understand an air of pokemon and that's what they focus on at grading they'll know like what they, like you're saying they'll know like what sets those like back. little inconsistencies yeah. and stuff because okay. like, like sometimes you with the older hollows you have like a print line down it and like that's factory so how much should that weigh against you mm -hmm. between a 10 or a 9 or even an 8 and if you don't have that and what percentage of the cards in existence have that line like if if like a high percentage have it, then they should take that into consideration yeah. and not fault people for it as much. That's right. But we'll see where they go with it. They just keep handing out shitty grades. Alright, so these are all the cards that I've got sleeved up recently, in addition to all the other ones you've been seeing. Um, but these are ones I haven't shown on camera yet. So we've probably got a couple hundred cards over there ready to go. So these aren't in any particular order yet. A lot of Wizards of the Coast Hollows. Which you've been seeing and repeat on the channel of the same kind of stuff over and over and over again. I don't even know how many of these I bought. I feel like I bought like five and someone just sent me all the ones they had because I don't remember buying this many. And there's like four or five I didn't even put in the grade pile. I was like laughing when I was counting these. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Just buy too much stuff. You don't know what you end up with. More of the EV. So I am trying to grade some of these myself. Get some tens. Sell them off. I mean, this is always going to be like really popular. I think this Pikachu. Yeah, it's cute. Charizard base. Dark Charizard non hollow. Dark Dragonite. And I do have two of my friends' cards going in. Or not card solo, but their grades are going in with mine. We've got 500 there right now. We'll probably have another couple hundred going in this week. Gonna try to fill out the forms tonight. That's the first half. Here's the second half. This is when we pulled the pack. A couple of these. So Snorlax, that's a no symbol error from Jungle. The symbol's missing. It's probably a seven, but no symbols are a really easy sell. So this is similar to the bubble store we called out earlier, that promo, this is Electra Buzz promo. Also hard to find in mint to mint condition, near mint mint, but pretty cool for grading. Flareon, love that one. Bunch of Electra Buzz. Your favorite card. Yep. So I'm grading a bunch of it. Got the uh, tops one. More of the card assets. The War Turtle. It's pretty sweet. Really love this Ivysaur. It's badass. Look at that. Two of those. Three of those. And these are the Squirtle deck stuff we mentioned from earlier in the video. The VHS tapes. So there's a bunch of these in there. But is in all the set. art like that in those? Uh, There's a different one. So like, they're all kind of different. I like the like, cartoon. The cartoonish art, like, yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. So like, these aren't ex these arts aren't exclusive to the box, mm -hmm. but some of them are like, so different. Like this one's really cool. Electra Buzz from the Bubble Sword deck. And there's the Japanese version of Electra Buzz from Jim. That is it. So we'll go over here, these stacks right here. That's uh, kind of already chronologically sorted. So these got to go into there, plus the new pile we got to go through. Check out all the links below, the Discord, the eBay, Macari, Amazon. Make sure you comment, leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Stay tuned for more videos.